Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we are taking a look at this little jewel here. It's called Inspired Learnings. It's very expensive. So if you are new or um, anything like that, uh, this might not be the jewel for you. Um, it costs around 27 exalt, if I'm correct. But there's a reason why I'm making this video, right? So. Whenever you are looking at the best gear you can find, everyone talks about the Headhunter. The Headhunter is very good, obviously, but it costs like fucking 150 exalts or whatever. Um, I don't even know because it's too expensive for me. But this one's 27. You can work towards this much easier and it should be some sort of like um, in between for you uh, while trying to farm the... Um, Headhunter. So I've made this little build right here, which is a Cyclone cast on crit build. I was inspired by MB Extreme. He made a build on it with Magic Find. I decided to make it a clear speed one with a little bit of Magic Find in the belt and the uh, and the Steamer's Touch, obviously. Um, but that's not too bad. I don't need anything else in the in the glove slot. Otherwise, you could go for something else if you think that suits you better so for this test what I have done is this I have ran for one hour these glacier maps um, no I didn't I didn't run, run the glacier I ran burial chambers um, and what I wanted to do was see how much quicker you were with the inspired um, learnings jewel so as you can see this is without one and almost crashed the game again this is how quickly I can run this now you can see in between when I'm not really killing anything here I didn't I didn't exactly clear the entire thing maybe I can when I use all my movement skills like leap slam and all stuff like that but I, it, it's a bit different sometimes a bit difficult um, and I was like well what if we buy an inspired learnings, just one? How much does that actually matter? Because normally people just use it with the headhunter, but they don't really talk about how good is it by itself if you don't have a headhunter. So this is what I did. I ran one like this without for one hour. Then I started running um, with, and you'll see the difference in a second here. With one inspired learnings, I have to be honest with you, it kind of depends on which, how lucky you get with which of the, um, which of the buffs you actually steal. But it's much stronger. As you can see already, I have much more AoE, so I got some AoE from this. My movement speed will pick up sometimes, which is much better. The damage is just easier, and I just clear everything very quickly. I didn't use this build for the test, but as you can see, the AoE is already uh, almost across the entire screen. No problem with killing everything, no problem with dying. I haven't died once using the Inspired Learnings, um, just because you get so many resistances. Um, the resistances don't really matter because they're capped, but what does matter is all the life you can get as well. You can easily get up to like four and a half thousand health from three thousand. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, I underestimated how good it was. I didn't do it on this build. I did it with my um, with my movement speed tornado shot. I always forget the name. I don't know why. But the results are fairly interesting. Um, we have no sheet this time because it doesn't really matter uh, because all we did was run with and without for one hour and the findings were that in burial chambers with the inspired learnings I could do about 10% more maps in the same time. The biggest reason for this was that sometimes you get a movement speed buff in the burial chambers which is actually insane. No, Slash d, &D come on. Alright, there we go. Um, you can get these, uh, where is it, bu 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 burial chambers here. Let's see if we can mimic this, okay? So if we go into the burial chambers, you'll you'll know that we have this huge part of um, just walking in between, like the mid-level. 
and it's not the worst most of the time but especially when you just go for a movement speed build it's not too bad so I was like eh, probably not really going to matter that much because I will have the movement speed build and I'll be quick anyway I'll be as fast as I want to be but honestly not really um, I'm not very lucky now because I don't have any movement speed buffs but you can see the AoE is picking up so I could just keep running keep running keep running don't have to move to the sides much and just clear everything and the clear times are just much better this way it's it's not a difference between day and night obviously because we're only talking about 10% here but if you're running 100 maps that 10% will still net you 10 maps which you wouldn't have done if you didn't have this so now you can actually see the movement speed starts picking up which I wouldn't have without the inspired learnings um, it can get quite ridiculous guys honestly one this is one I only have one inspired learnings and now I have loads of damage bonuses so I just use my Val Ice Nova most stuff just dies I run around again see now I don't even have to stop I can just continue just loot everything up there we go and that's it this helps me a lot I can imagine that once you get to a point where you're 451% movement speed um, you're absolutely insane you're a fucking menace to society then maybe it doesn't matter as much but with the gear I have 10% difference we ran 27 maps without it we ran 31 actually with the inspired learnings on the magic find tornado shot so I hope that helps you guys if you're thinking about buying one before you get your headhunter um, if it did help you please leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below and as always I'll see you guys later Eddie out